Hey guys, today I have got another page in my Life Crafted album. I'm still using the Possibilities kit from Citrus Twist. I really loved this 3x8 card that's in the kit and I love that it coordinates with this pattern paper. So that's sort of the basis for my idea this week. I knew I wanted to use these two things. Um, my photos were really poor quality, like the light wasn't great and so they're a bit sort of grainy and yellow tinged. So I've converted them all to black and white just keeping it really easy I still want to document the photos I just don't want to have to try to work with those colors so I converted them to black and white I've got four photos three I printed as three by fours and one is a little instax photo um, and so I know I want to do two full pages and a little three by four pocket insert in here so I'm starting with some base pages I've talked about this before I love having these base pages just trimmed out and ready to go on my album makes things a lot easier I will say especially for stuff like that all I've got to do is stick down some pattern papers in my photos and I can pull it down um, now I know that I said that I picked that pattern paper and that was what I was going to use but I've already changed my mind I really liked this other um, sort of tealy colored diagonal diamond sort of pattern and I decided to use that instead it's just slightly less bold um, and so it helps those photos um, stick out just a little bit more now I've trimmed my 3x8 card down so that I can use just one, one portion of it, one 3x4 of it, and I'm actually going to end up using both sides of it. So it worked out really nicely. Uh, and for this blank back page here, I am just adding some of these really pretty foam words. I love that white on white look. It gives me, it's not really a title for the page, it's kind of just a sentiment is how I'm using it. This page doesn't actually end up having a title at all, um, but I love that white white on white it's less um, in your face you can see that the way it would sit with the pocket page um, on top of this page I don't want to have to like have those photos competing with this really huge title so what I'm going to do is add my pattern paper on the left side of that title it's going to be sort of hidden underneath my 3x4s so I've just measured out um, the size I need that to be and trimmed that down and I will end up using the other piece as well but for now I'm just going to stick down this one piece here. I want to make sure that it's sort of even on the page and the, the loop from the top of the L is probably going to need to sit on top of that paper which I'm fine with. It kind of kind of combines those two pieces together so I have just lifted that foam piece up off the background until I put my paper down um, and then I can just stick it down you can see it only it only sits on just a tiny little bit of it now because I've covered the holes that I had already punched in my base card I'm just grabbing my little hole punch this is not any sort of fancy specific equipment it's like a cheapy little single hole punch I got from the stationery store but it works a treat for this album so what I wanted to do is replicate the bottom of this 3x4 card and it's got these kind of stripes of patterns. So there's the floral um, that I had originally picked um, and then there's also a wood grain and sort of a book page and a map and so I, I want to try and replicate that look as much as I can to tie it all together. I just went and ran that journaling card straight through my typewriter. It worked very nicely. I love at the bottom that there's like a location and a date portion. Um, it makes the journaling a lot easier. So I just journaled on there and then like I said I'm going to use both sides of this card. So on the back I'm going to adhere my photo. I printed out an Instax um, sort of hoping that it would be the same size as the white space on the back of this card. It's not quite um, and I probably could have just left the little bit sticking out but what I decided to do was trim down the wood grain portion from the top of that 3x4 so the leftover 3x4 piece at the top I've trimmed out the wood grain portion of that and then adhered that behind the photo so again when I flip this insert over I'm then adding some of the same pattern back in um, and I'm going to do the same thing on this photo I trimmed off that um, floral pattern and I'm just sticking it onto the side of my photo. I wasn't covering up anything important um, but it just adds a little bit of colour back in. 
And again, I'm doing the same thing by tying in those foam stickers. I'm going to add a few of these little foam hearts. So I'm going to add two onto the photo that will go um, on the front. <laughs> it's hard to work it out now. On the front. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the back, the back photo. I'm going to add a little heart on here. There's quite a nice patch of sort of blank space in this photo. So I'm going to add a heart uh, as well as that. I'm going to add a little bit of stamping underneath. I'm going to stamp one of these um, like square sentiment stamps underneath just because I did have that nice blank space there. Most of my photos um, were a bit busy for stamping on this week. I do love stamping on photos, um, but this was really the only one that was going to allow me to do that. I did end up um, like gluing those three by four photos together just so they remained um, in one place in the pocket. Now this is where I decide oh, I really like this pattern and I might as well carry on using the rest of it. I hadn't planned on it. I was going to do sort of stripes on this um, this left hand side of the page as well to tie those two things together but I think using the pattern paper also um, ties it all together and here you can see one of the advantages with using these base cards is I'm just going straight onto the back of the page that I created last week uh, that way I don't end up with any extra bulk in there sometimes I don't and I end up having to glue two pages together um, but when I'm using this really super thick card like this it makes it really easy to just work straight straight onto the back, especially if I'm not planning on doing anything like sewing or um, like any sort of heavy stamping, I would worry about it coming through, but when I'm just gluing down paper and photos like this, it works really nicely. Now my photo was getting a little bit lost on all that white space, so I decided to add in another sort of accent of that floral paper. I used the 6x8 to mat the photo, and then I'm going to use the leftover piece of that 3x8 card. It's got those same two stripes. Um, and it lines up really nicely with the bottom of that journaling card. So I'm going to stick that down. It's not really a mat, it's just carrying that pattern on across the bottom of the page. And then I can glue my photo down on top. I want to make sure that when I'm gluing my photo down, it's at sort of the same level as that 3x4 um, card in the pocket, just to carry on those lines along the bottom. And here's where I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. I am going to stamp onto the white cardstock rather than my photo. And then when you flip those pocket pages over, it kind of ties it all together, having that same little squared stamping. And that's it. That's this spread all done. I can pop that back into my album. I love how it looks. These little 3x4 pockets are one of my favorite things about these life crafted albums. So easy to add a little insert in there. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, there are a couple more videos on screen, otherwise I'll see you next time. Bye guys.